Hello and welcome to my blog. My name is Ella Loschek and I'm a founder of Nail Experts Academy. Today I've got something special to share with you and I'm really really happy to have you here. Last week I received an email from Linda and Linda says, Hi Ella, I decided to compete this year and I'm looking for any assistance or advice to help me to achieve my ambition of becoming a winner just like yourself. Many times Linda. Linda, thank you so, so much for bringing up this topic as this is one of the favorite ever things for me to talk about. I love competitions, I love everything about it. And let me tell you first, before we go even any farther, that you are a winner. There's so many people, they give up before they even try because it's too scary, they just freak out, I'm not good enough, I just don't know this, I don't know that. Listen you are the one you can do it and the decision of doing it is one and the most important step of winning so well done to you i know how scary it is i know because i was there as well i started competing in 2009 several years ago and i know how it feels i know i was totally freaking out i was like oh my god what am i doing here there's so many well-known nail technicians and like who am i to be here but then, you know what, I said like, whatever, I'm going to do that anyway. So I've got really important tips and tricks for you today, more like a guideline, so what you should to do to make yourself ready. Number one tip I want to share with you is a competition training. I can't stress hardly enough this point, as this is so, so important. You need to get ready. There's so many people, they think one day sitting, doing clients and it's like, hmm, competition is coming, maybe I should enter. And they think like, salon nail is the same as competition nail. No, competition nail is totally different. To be honest, those nails, they don't even last an hour or two after they're being judged because they're so thin, the structure is different. So there's no chance you decided to start competition, to, to compete, and then you are going and you're not getting ready for that. So you need to train. And my advice is to train with different educators. Because why? Because every one of them has got different technique, different, um, different type of teaching. And you can always grab something from yourself and then mix it and make it your own. And that's really, really cool because then you know what to do. You've got something new you can grab from this person, from that person and create something unique and special what is going to work for you. The other thing is many people, they think if I should go for a group training or if I should go for individual training. My experience, I would say if it's your first competition training, always go for individual one. Why? because then all the focus of your educator is on you. There's nobody else who's, who's the same important as you. You're getting 100% of attention of that specific educator. And this is what you want at the beginning, because then you've never competed before. You don't know what you're looking for. And sometimes you may be thinking like, oh, this is the area I should be focusing on, but actually it's not. And that, that's really tricky sometimes. So if it's your first competition training, always go for individual one. If it's another one or third, fourth and so on, then a group training is a fantastic experience as well. And of course, you can learn from it a lot too. The other thing with your educator who is going to run a competition training is that he, she is probably, if not for sure, a competition judge as well. This is the best opportunity for you ever. Why? Because those people, they've been there, they know how to compete, they know exactly what to do and what not to do, but they also been on the other side. They know what to expect, because they've seen both sides of it, both sides of the competitions. So this is just a huge, huge value for yourself if you find someone like that who can give you some advice and who can, who can take you to that level. And be your teacher. Remember, competition training is your investment and that's the investment in yourself and that's probably the one you should do for yourself. 
it's not a waste of money, it's not a waste of time. You can't say like, oh, I know this, I know that, and I don't need it. Yes, you need it. Even if you compete only once, or if you do the competition training and you will not compete at all, believe me, this is going to change everything. This is going to change everything you know so far and everything you have learned so far about nails, about the nail structure, about the seeker. That will teach you consistency. And from that moment, nothing else is going to be the same. Tip number two, read rules. This is so important and I'm laughing because there's so many people, they're going to enter competition and they actually own a competition area and then you've got a conversation with them and like, should I really do this? Or this is not allowed to do? It's like, people read rules. How can you win? How can you increase your chances of winning if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing? This is really, really silly to lose points for not having your products label on the table because remember there's also a floor judge who's going to check every single thing on your table so if you are doing sculpting you are not allowed to have glue you are not allowed to have oil etc so remember read rules as this is really really silly to lose some points so important points which can actually help you win on something like that tip number three set your mind this is so, so important. Once you've decided to enter the competition, that's the first step. But now you need to get ready for it. The other thing is my, my personal experience is like every time when I've entered the competition, I have never ever thought about winning. Why? Because that wasn't my point. Why I've entered the competition, that was clearly and simply for experience. I wanted to grow as a nail technician, I wanted to grow as a person and what better way than doing a competition? This is the best way ever. So whenever you set yourself and you say, okay, I'm ready, I'm doing it, well done, that's the first step. Now change your thinking. You need to get ready, you need to tell yourself, I'm going to go there and I'm going to give a hundred percent. Always, 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 no matter what, no matter how feel, how you may feel or how sick you are or how many stress it's around you and how shaky you are, it doesn't matter. You always have to give 100%, always push yourself, always set your mind for going for it. Because the truth is that the only, only person who you need to compete with is yourself. It's not the person sitting next to you, it's, it's you, that's your head, that's your thinking which might be telling you, I, like, I shouldn't be here, who am I to be here? No, you've got the whole right to be there and you should be there. So once you're there, go for it and do and give a hundred, hundred percent. And the most important part is enjoy it enjoy it because even though it's stressful it's also so exciting and it's so much fun you're going to meet new people you're going to get perfect and the best experience of your life enjoy tip number four find perfect model even though it sounds pretty okay easy peasy let me tell you it's not finding a perfect model it may seem to be the hardest thing you could ever have to do. Why? Because there are specific rules for a model. Of course you can take anybody, but to increase your chances of winning, you need to find the one person. Perfect model, there's, like I said, there's so many specific things, like you'll be looking for perfect, slim, straight fingers. You'll be looking for long nail beds. You don't want to have any nail biter because this is not going to help you to win. It's not even increasing your chances of winning. So perfect model, is so so important she also needs to know how to work with you if she's getting really stressed or that's the worst thing you can experience and I know because I remember I was preparing for my competition and I was practicing a lot on the same model all the time and everything just everything was just fine then the competition day came we sat there 
and she was so stressed she started sweating a lot not herself but her hands oh my god believe me sticky form to sweaty fingers this is not going to happen I was using liters of acetone I was using hand disinfectant I was using dehydrator just try and to dry her hands and it didn't work it took me 15 minutes to talk to her to talk her over settle down it's okay there's nothing to be stressed about she should be calm down with me but Things like that happen and you need to control that and you need to know what to do. So even though you are stressed, remember your model might be stressed as well. So you need to work together. If you're stressed, she needs to help you get over that. If she's stressed, you need to know how to do that. Find the one which is going to help you a lot and who's going to be your best model ever. My tip number five, practice, practice and one more time practice or even one more. This is so important. Once you've got your training done, once you've got your model, once you've got your mindset, you've got all the stuff covered, now it's time to start practicing. And again, this is cannot be done a day before the training because this is not going to happen. You need to have at least 21 days prior to the competition and you should be practicing every single day. And again, why? Because 21 is a magical number. After 21 days of repeating something you will get habit and you'll create a habit so if you keep doing practicing on your model I'm not saying 21 days in a row because there are no nails left for the competition day but use your model at least once a week and then in the meantime every day practice on your sticks just apply the form and practice on the stick you have to do that if you are thinking about competition seriously. Tip number six, make sure you've got enough stuff. I mean, if you're using gel or acrylic, make sure you've got enough or even more than you actually need. Just in case, because then if you split your liquid, you may need some extra. Make sure everything is more than you need. It's really, really important because then when you forget something, it's not the time to stress about that, you want to settle down, you want to get your mind ready, you want to get yourself ready and knowing that you've forgotten this or like I've lost this or that, it's not going to help you. So make sure you've got more than you need on a competition day. Also if you're competing in pink and white, just find out if the red varnish is going to provide it for you or if you take it your own. Things like that are really, really important. So check the rules again and make sure you've got more than you need. Tip number seven, make sure you've got all the expenses planned. Competition may not be the cheapest thing to do because you need to pay for the registration. You also need to pay for the travel, for accommodation. You will need to pay for your model as well. And sometimes, if it's not the model you are working with, you may find another one who you will have to pay to. So make sure you've planned your expenses and it's not going to hit you on a day. So get ready for that as well. Also, talking about model, make sure you've got a backup plan. You've got someone whose hands may be not as pretty as your mind model, but at least she can be there. Linda, I hope you find it helpful and it served you really well. If you've got any more questions or any one of you, please comment below or go to my website www.ellaloszczyk.co.uk and post your comments there. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get some feedback. What you think? What's your journey with nail competitions? Because I'm really excited about all those stuff. So please post the comment below and I look forward to seeing you next week.